so look, you've got this owl's texture, okay? And the better way, rather than drawing it on the surface, is to add. It's to add small just circles <clears throat> from the bottom up so it's because it's stacked okay so it's going to be like you wouldn't want to just stick these anywhere they're layers okay so if I put like one here can you see it is that up on the screen still mm -hmm. okay and then I put one over it like that just layer the bottom see it's nothing I'm just pinching little pieces of clay off you see it you see what's happening pinch little little circles of clay so instead of drawing because this is you gotta think this is three dimension that's like a pine cone okay think about a pine cone how a pine cone looks All those little petals are stacked. So you create that texture. And all I'm doing is smoothing the very top of it. So instead of these little drawings, we go back to the bottom right there. So I can put some more along the bottom. So I'm just pinching off some clay, kind of squeezing it a little bit, and then smoothing it up. Because the next one I do, I'm just going to cover over that, that movement that I'm doing with my thumb. Okay, you see that? So which looks better? The drawing or the real thing? It was rhetorical. I mean, of course, you got to remember, I've been doing this a long time. So I've, I've learned a lot of tricks. I've been doing this for almost 25 years. So, and it doesn't take any time. It actually takes less time than drawing those little shapes. So you roll up a ball, you tap it down, and you press it. Now, you've got to remember to keep it, you know the way bricks are stacked? you got a row of bricks, but then you alternate like you stack the next brick. Look at those blocks on the wall.